Hello everyone, it's Dash. Haven't been doing this series for a long time, but I've just got a request from one of the viewers to make a Brinkmate exercise. So here are Brinkmate problems, and I'm gonna give you Brinkmate problems that are very typical and which are very uh, basics uh, that you can easily find on main books or maybe on the internet. So uh, let's go ahead. So let's start from this exercise. Brinkmate in one, five seconds. Okay, it's a proverb. Drop the silver on the king's belly. And this is a brink mate because uh, it's a threat made starting from this silver promotion 2C and also uh, horse to 3A. Uh, black can't protect uh, both squares. Uh, for example, he, if he protects the 2C square, uh, horse check, king runs, and silver on promotion checkmate. Okay. Brink mate in one, five seconds. All right. Well, if you want to think longer, uh, just pause the video, okay? Okay, so here's the answer. Bishop dropped to 1c. And it's a brain commit. Because yeah, if he takes the lands, uh, 1c square is uh, shut down. So, like, he just dropped his gold. And a checkmate. And uh, if he can't take the bishop, uh, there's no way he can avoid the threat mate. Right? Well, if it protects here, blocking the dragon, uh, you can drop a gold and it's a checkmate. So, well, don't think of dropping your gold at this kind of situation. Uh, it'll just uh, let the king escape. So, yeah, bishop dropped one C, and it's a brinkmate. Okay, brinkmate in one. Uh, this is very simple. Five seconds. Okay, it's gold drop to 3b, and it's a simple brink mate. Uh, black is threatening this gold drop and this gold drop, and white can't protect both. Uh, if we protect both with this gold, uh, I can drop a gold here. So uh, the best white can do is dropping a rook to, for example, here, but uh, you can go drop the gold not from here to here, and king runs and the rook is blocked, so uh, it's a checkmate. Okay? Okay, this is an application of the previous one. Brink mate in three, five seconds. Okay, you start from this rook sack. After the king takes it, yeah, gold drop to two v, and it's a brink mate. Uh, you're threatening these two checkmates, and we can't defend both. Okay, this one is a little bit difficult. Brink mate in one. Ten seconds for a first down. All right, it's rook drop to two b. A brilliant sacrifice. Uh, it's threatening a mate uh, like this, and also a gold drop here and here. So. Of course, well, I can only take the rook, but the gold drop on 4b is a checkmate. Alright, bring mate in one. Oh, this one is easy. Yeah, it's gold drop to 3b. Uh, black is threatening a checkmate with horse to 2b. Uh, but if he defends there, uh, horse to 2a, and it's a checkmate. So it's bring mate. Well, don't think about just making a check like that. That will uh, make the king escape. Okay? Alright, a little bit tricky one. Brink mate in three, five seconds. Alright, you sacrifice your goal first of 1c, and close the king's escaping road with the knight, and then you take the goal on promote. And it's a brink mate. Okay, brink mate in one, five seconds. All right, uh, this was a bit difficult because uh, the first move is actually dragon to three b and it's brink mate uh, because. I threatens two threat mates. One is zero drop to two a, and and the next one is 
Knight drop to two D. I know what I mean. Uh, let's say if he defends two A square with the gold Knight sack, and it's a checkmate. Okay. All right. How about this one? Brinkmate in three, five seconds. All right. It's Knight sack to two D first. Checking. After pawn takes it, lands up to 2c, and it's a brink mate. Uh, well, because even if he protects a 2b square, let's say with a uh, horse, I can just take the silver, promotes, and it's a checkmate. All right, now how about this one? I uh, have two goals at this time. Well, 15 seconds for a first stand. All right, if you drop a gold to 3a, uh, that's pretty good attack, but uh, bishop drop to 8g, protecting the 2a square, I mean, I like that, so uh, it doesn't work. So the correct move is gold drop to 3c, very good sacrifice. Well, uh, he has to take with the knight, because uh, uh, if we protect 2b square, you can just make a checkmate like that. So uh, that will be knight takes 3c, and then you can drop a gold to the open square here, and it's a threat mate. Because, uh, uh, let's say, if he protects there with the gold, gold takes, gold takes, and it's ever dropped to 2a checkmate. Okay, brink mate in one, five seconds. Okay, if you simply make uh, this kind of threat mate, uh, that will be simply defended by uh, bishop drop, for example, uh, making a horse in 2b. So, correct move is, actually, gold to 3c. Uh, sacrifice. Well, at this time, even if he defends a 2b square like that, I can drop a gold, and he can take it so he can run, but look at this. Uh, it's a checkmate because of the gold on 3c. So uh, he basically has to take it with the knight. Well, uh, that will be a checkmate, right? All right, a typical bring my problem. Bring mate in one, five seconds. Okay, it's zero drop to two B. Yeah, because uh, you're threatening three zero drops. Well, uh, there's very uh, cool sacrifice of the knight on 2a, protecting these both squares. But, yeah, this threat is remaining, so it's a checkmate. Okay, now let's start seeing uh, rather tricky ones. Brinkmate in 3, well, 15 seconds for first stand. Okay, this one is very tricky. Uh, if you start from a gold drop like that, well, the king can run, and if you drop a silver, he can run, and, uh, well, another threat made is simply defended uh, with a gold drop, for example. So, uh, the correct move is zero to 2c, and the king goes to 3a, that will be gold on the head and the checkmate, but king to 1c, yeah. So this is the critical point. And your next move is actually Silver to 3D promote, and it's a brink mate. Very cool. Well, because obviously it's a uh, three pieces attack, so white has to take the pawn and gold drop to 2C checkmate. Okay, a tricky one again, but it's a very, very basic tactic. Brink mate in three, 20 seconds for our first stand. Okay, actually you start from this gold sack to 4b. Cool. 
and if a gold takes it, silver drop to 3a. And well, it's a proper drop the silver on the king's bottom. All right, uh, it's a threat mate. So let's say if he defends there with with a gold, for example. Well, then you can just take the gold here and drop it to 3a, and it's a simple checkmate, right? Yep. Uh, and uh, what if this uh, piece was a silver, uh, which means uh, silver drop on 4a? Well, in this case, you just take the gold and silver recaptures, and you can drop and you cannot drop your gold to 3a, but you can drop it to 2b. So it's a checkmate. Yep. Cool. All right, very basic brinkmate tactic against Ananguma Castle. Uh, brinkmate in 3, 15 seconds. Right, if you simply drop a knight uh, attacking the 1b square, I can defend there with a gold drop, for example. So it's not good. So the correct move is gold drop on 2b, sack in the gold, and then knight drop to 2d. So white doesn't have a way to protect the 1b square, right? Okay, the last problem. A typical breaking mate tactic against a mino castle. Uh, bring mate in 5, 30 seconds for a first stand. All right, uh, first you drop a knight to 7d, of course, at the pawn is pinned, so king to 9b. Now, this is a very critical position. How do you make a brink mate in 3 from here? Okay, here it is. Gold drop on 8b as sacrifice. Uh, gold recaptures, and you're not going to take the gold, of course. You drop your bishop to 7a. And white can't do nothing about uh, that gold. He can't protect there. Uh, he doesn't have a square to protect the gold. Uh, even if he takes a pawn now, uh, it's a checkmate. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope it helped. See you next time. Goodbye.